Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is the Nobel Prize work in Physiology or Medicine 2017 that was regarding the discoveries of molecular mechanisms controlling the circadian rhythm. This is a humble attempt to explain a very complex mechanism called circadian rhythm. Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to three US-based scientists Jeffrey C. Hall, Michael Rosbash and Michael W. Young for their contribution in unlocking the molecular mechanisms of circadian rhythm. So let's start with what is circadian rhythm. Let's take a simple experiment to understand the concept. This was probably the first experiment in connection with circadian rhythm. Mimosa plant leaves open towards sun during the daytime and it closes at night. French astronomer Jean-Jacques Mayran conducted an experiment using this plant. He kept the plant in constant darkness for several days to check the rhythm is due to sunlight and temperature. To his surprise, he found out that the plant continued to show the same rhythm of opening the leaves at daytime and drooping the leaves at night. This experiment suggests the existence of an internal clock within the plant that can maintain the biological rhythm even under constant condition. This is called the circadian rhythm. Later it was found that the circadian rhythm was present in all organisms from unicellular organisms to fungus to plants and animals. This is our circadian rhythm. This is a 24 hour cycle. Circadian rhythm regulates some very important physiological responses like sleep pattern, body temperature, blood pressure, hormone release, feeding behavior, etc. Even if we are living in different parts of the world, there is change in environment, change in light and temperature. If we are close to equator, where there is 12 hour day and 12 hour night, or we are close to, we are away from equator towards the poles, where in countries like Finland, Norway, Alaska, etc., there is continuous sunlight for six months and continuous darkness for many months. Even in changes in light and temperature, we have an internal mechanism, an internal clock, clock that helps as to optimize the physiology and behavior this pattern remains constant independent of light and temperature this internally generated daily rhythm that is independent of light and temperature that helps us to adjust to live in different environment is known as the circadian rhythm now moving into the topic molecular mechanism of circadian rhythm the first gene identified was the period gene it was actually identified by Penser and Nopka in 1971. They identified three mutant Drosophila flies. And these three flies were mutated or it is having abnormal circadian rhythm pattern or 24 hour cycle in certain activities like pupil eclosion and locomotor activity. And they identified a common mutated gene in all three flies. Later, the gene was named as the period gene. This gene was later cloned and sequenced by Hall, Rospash and Michael Young. So period gene was the first gene identified in connection with circadian rhythm. Now into the molecular mechanism of circadian rhythm. I have written everything on this side for your reference. This is a period gene, you can see the double standard DNA. This is a period gene that is transcribed to form period mRNA and there is period protein. The first observation in connection with period gene was the period mRNA and period protein concentration oscillates in a 24 hour cycle. Sometimes the period mRNA will be abundant. At times, after several hours only, period protein becomes abundant. There is a time lag between transcription and translation. And period protein was found to be a protein that shuttles between cytoplasm and nucleus. Accumulation of period protein inside the nucleus represses the expression of period gene. Therefore, mechanism is a negative autoregulatory feedback mechanism by which the abundance of period protein itself inside the nucleus inhibit the expression of period gene. Later, another protein was discovered which is called as a TIM protein that was coded by timeless gene that can directly bind to the period protein and this TIM protein is found to be vital in the localization of period protein inside the nucleus thereby stopping the expression of period gene or period gene transcription. So this mechanism is called as translation feedback loop or the abundance of the protein, period protein itself 
inhibits the expression of period G. Now the second question, how is period and TIM gene activated? Later two other proteins are also identified which is called as clock protein and cycle protein. This clock protein and cycle protein can interact with each other and can bind to the control site of the period gene and activates transcription of period gene forming period mRNA. So this clock gene can be called as a transcription enhancer or a positive regulator of period gene transcription. Later, this, the role of clock gene and cycle gene was further confirmed by the discovery that the TIM PER complex or TIM PER localization inside the nucleus inhibit this clock and cycle gene, thereby inhibiting the transcription of period gene. So, in short, clock gene and cycle gene is a positive transcription factors of period gene that activates transcription of period gene and the formation of period mRNA. How the transcription and translation is so much delayed? So mRNA, period mRNA may be formed during late night, period protein will be abundant only during the early morning. That much delay in transcription and translation. Normally there won't be that, there won't be that much delay in transcription and translation. So there should be some mechanism for clearing out this period protein and TIM protein from the cell. Then only this clock protein and cycle protein can activate the period gene. So for the clearance of this period protein in the cytoplasm, there is another gene, another protein which is called as DPT that is coded by double time gene that phosphorylates this period gene and ultimately increases its degradation. So period gene is cleared from the cell by DPT protein. During light, certain proteins like cry protein or cryptochrome gene that codes for a protein called cry protein that can bind to the TIM leading to its degradation. So in the absence of TIM, the spirit protein cannot localize inside the nucleus thereby enhancing the degradation of period protein by the DPT protein. In short, Period protein and TIM protein is cleared from the cell by the activity of DPT protein and cry protein. As a result, inside the cell, the, the percentage or the quantity of period protein localization inside the nucleus decreases that activates cyclic and cycle gene that will enhance the transcription of period gene thereby later the formation of period mRNA will be abundant in the absence of period protein. Period, that is why period mRNA and period protein inside the cell oscillates in a 24-hour cycle. So we have discussed a translational feedback. This period protein inside the nucleus inhibits the transcription of period gene. The next one is a trans transcriptional feedback. That is by the period protein, TIM protein together inside the nucleus inhibit the expression or activation of click and cycle protein thereby inhibiting the production of period mRNA by inhibiting period gene. And this is called as transcriptional feedback and the mechanism is called as transcriptional and translational feedback loop. So what's the relevance of this discovery? Circadian rhythm helps to regulate sleep patterns, feeding behavior, hormone release, blood pressure, body temperature, etc. Very important functions and the circadian rhythm may be associated with sleep disorders, neurodegenerative disorders, even it can be associated to many diseases. So understanding the molecular mechanism of circadian rhythm will help, will help in tackling diseases that is in connection with abnormal circadian rhythm patterns. And that's it regarding the circadian rhythm. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.